Dr. Fred Vignini, a noted medical educator uh, on staff at uh, Cornell Medical College, a uh, cardiovascular surgeon, a physician with an active uh, cardiology uh, intervention practice in New York, and a national talk show host, uh, joins us in Orlando to talk about uh, diabetes and cardiovascular risk factors. Uh, Dr. Vignini has some very excellent advice on the early detection, prevention, and treatment of cardiovascular disease as associated with diabetes. And this is very important because uh, type 2 diabetes is eminently preventable, easily treatable, and very, very detectable. As a matter of fact, I attended a congress of uh, <coughs> cardiometabolic risk, and, and it was like eight hours long. They gave about 20 lectures on belly fat. I said, how can they keep going? But they did, and it's significant. So if you want to be a great anti-aging physician, hey, let the people check their numbers. If they have the belly fat, they're pre-diabetic, I'm telling you. A lot of guys will say, well, I, you know, I have a 32 waist. Then you look at them. They got their pants down here, and here's a big fat stomach. Yeah, 32 waist. Try measuring it up here where you're supposed to. And by the way, if it's above 40, that's considered uh, abdominal obesity. That's in a man, 35 in a woman. They, there was a 14-year-old kid came into my office with his parents last week, and I'm looking at them, I, you know, I, I didn't know how to put it. You know, I wasn't going to say, well, look, the both of you are fat. What'd you expect? You know, coming from New York, maybe that's what you thought I might say. But no, I was a little tactful. I said to the father, <laughs> but basically that's what it amounted to. I said to the father, you know, you have a little weight problem too. You have quite a bit of this visceral adiposity. If you say that, it's like, you know, you can tell people they're fat in a fancy term. <laughs> Uh, you have uh, IAA, intra-abdominal adiposity. But anyway, the mother and father were obese. And I went on to say the kid doesn't go shopping, and a lot of it is genetic. Point is that the kids are getting fatter. There's a higher incidence of uh, diabetes. I do see uh, diabetic uh, children in my practice. And, and it's usually type 2 diabetes. So prior to developing type 2 diabetes, people almost always have prediabetes. Studies indicate that most people with prediabetes will develop diabetes in 10 years, and prediabetes uh, individuals and individuals with metabolic syndrome have an increased risk of atherosclerosis, heart attack, stroke. Here's a statement, 40 to 60 million people in the United States with prediabetes. It's an epidemic. There's an epidemic of prediabetes, all preventable by diet and exercise, by the way. And this is something that you really can jump on. This is a great area for an anti-aging uh, physician because it's aggressive prevention. Diet and exercise are great, especially weightlifting. I have my patients doing resistance training, very key with aerobic training. It improves insulin sensitivity and reduces cardiovascular risk. Treatment is geared into with diet exercise and uh, nutrition therapy. They have a whole bunch of vitamins I use for all of this and drugs. Uh, I like to go natural but uh, you need drug therapy when you're dealing with sick cardiovascular patients, as I do in my practice, especially heart failure, post-myocardial uh, infarction patients, and certainly in diabetics, you've got to have the full armamentarium of drugs. Well, Dr. Vignini gave a great presentation, very entertaining, very energetic, and that's just the kind of guy that he is. He uh, really takes his... Uh, his medical practice seriously and his patients love him for it. And if you're looking for a physician like Dr. Vignini, there are 20,000 members of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine throughout the United States and around the world. Uh, Anti-Aging Medicine, the AFRM, is the fastest growing medical society uh, on the planet today. And uh, we have thousands of them listed, thousands of our members listed. So if you're looking for a physician who practices this new paradigm of healthcare, you can find them by going to the official website of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, www.worldhealth.net.